Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and we are back in the land of Russia, also known as Putin. Yes, the dynasty map mode is looking very favorable for the Putins right now. And yes, yes, the King of France does now also control England, but he has a revolt. It's called a French revolt, but it's in England. I love it. I love it. I love that those two kingdoms merged uh, under the Wessex dynasty. Look at that. Wessex. Aquitaine is still Carling, right? Yeah, Aquitaine is still Carling. But the Empire, the HRE, is no longer Carling. So there is some discontent in the Empire because of the dynasty change. Just like in France. Some discontent there. France used to own Aquitaine as well, but... You know, not after they flipped to some other dynasty. The Wessex dynasty. Ah, we spent a thousand gold to put down... Uh, an adventurer who wanted to come fight us. Very expensive to put him down. Now, I was looking around at people that we should be going for, like opportunistic moments. Uh, I think this is a very nice opportunity. We can go holy war for this duchy of Sarkel. It's entirely owned by the revolt here, so that's perfect. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, actually, we're at peace. Can we do, I don't know, a grand hunt? All right, we'll do a grand hunt, get some prestige. Uh, why not? And uh, after the Grand Hunt, then we'll go down here. But let's send the troops anyway. Can't hurt. And I was also thinking of going to war with the Revolt down here to take some of his land. But we can only declare on counties, or not counties, on duchies that we border. So we could declare for this duchy, or this duchy, or this duchy. That's it. Those are the only three duchies that we border in the Revolt. Uh, but the problem is, those would either be one county, one county, or two counties. It's just not very much land. But we might do it anyway, I don't know. Oh, speed up. Oops. I'm out in the woods and I see a mighty stag while my party is hunting. What are the odds? Gain prestige, spare his majesty, gain kind. Or it would look really good above my fireplace. Gain diligent. 10% chance to gain diligent. Oh, we're doing it, baby. And we didn't get anything. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, let's put these, these bastards down. They are currently winning their revolt. Yeah, they're 10% in the lead. Well, 9%. So good for them. Grand Hunt is over. Good. Oh shit, we're ill again. Stop being ill. Mother, this is the second time he's been ill. Stop being ill. Now, he could get a whole bunch of backup, because it's a holy war. Okay, we're not ill anymore. But we'll see. Since it's a revolt, he may not get any backup. I don't know. Revolts tend to be disliked. If you know what I mean. Oh, we got some raiding money. 20 gold. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, that's that's a nice thing about having some Norse vassals, is they'll go out and raid for you. <laughs> Love it. What? 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 What is it? Autosave is delaying this. What is it? Measles. Ew. Get the fuck out of here with your measles and shit. Uh-oh. Oh, my son! Little Vladimir, he needs tutoring. Alright, let's find him a nice tutor. Who wants to tutor my son? Well, you're the wrong culture and the wrong religion. There's a Russian Old Slavic. Russian Slavic, but uh, his stats really aren't that good. Russian Slavic. Alright, let's sort it by uh, diplomacy. Well, I could do it. I actually have pretty good stats myself. Yeah, okay, I'll do it. Fine, I'll tutor you myself, boy. Be homeschooled. Yeah, no one's helping him in this war because it's a revolt. They probably just don't care about him enough. I can understand that.
Crusade for Jerusalem. All right. So they got this duchy for free. I guess an event. Uh, and now they're crusading to get the rest of it. Very interesting. How's the revolt in the HRE going? The revolt is still winning. 10% winning. Well, that would be fantastic if the HRE would break apart. Is it for independence, or what is it for? No, it's just for a claim on the HRE. Yeah, he's the boss in it. He, he just wants his dynasty on the throne. Ah, oh, well. If the Carlings are in decline, that's what happens. Ooh, we can imprison someone? The High Chief of Upland. Nah. Oh yeah, while we're sieging here, why don't we go through our vassals and see if there's anyone that we can flip to the proper religion. Now we have Demid. Yeah, so we're checking for High Priest Demid as the uh, leader. Yep. Stop asking me. This stupid bastard from Denmark keeps asking me to, to marry his daughter or something. I don't want it. High Priest Demid. High Priest Demid. Oh, you're the wrong... Oh, wow. Norse, Norse. You son of a bitch. Can I interest you in, I don't know, a gift? 44 bucks. That's kind of expensive. I do have some honorary titles to give away. That would be 20. 15. Eh, it's not quite enough. If I gave him every single title, that would be enough. It's not worth it to give every single title to one guy. Mm-mm. Oh, here we go. Okay, 10% into the war. This guy's got some claims on nothing. He's just going to go off adventuring. Good for him. Get out of here. I don't want your marriage. Alright, this, this should be over pretty quick. Yeah, the sieges are dropping fast. And a lot of these provinces have full holdings. Look at this. They've actually they've actually built extra buildings here. Extra holdings. That's great. That means I don't have to worry about it. Oh, someone died. Who died? My marshal died. Aww. And there is a duke who wants to be marshal. But he's already the right religion. And he, yeah. If I could convert him by doing that, then so be it. Why do these swords always get turned off? Every time I load the game, these swords get turned off. Oh well. Just keeping an eye on that guy. As long as he's not bothering me, I'll leave him alone. Go on, get out of here. No one likes you. Twenty-seven percent, good. He's back. Oh, a famous writer proposed wants to uh, compose your family's chronicles. Oh, duh. Oh shit, our flag changed again. Why does this keep happening? Every time I load the save, our flag turns into two sailboats. Whatever. Hey, we're proud. Can I change my dynasty flag? Of course I can. All right, hold on. God, every time I load the save file, this changes to two ships. Where's my dragon? Is it really hard to save our chosen logo? It can't be that difficult. There it is.
Oh, we can't even do a split design anymore? We used to be able to do a split design. Oh, God damn it. Whatever. Done. Back to a dragon. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to attack if he's uh, outnumbered. So we're keeping him uh, at bay just by threatening to move soldiers around. He's like, oh, they're going to outnumber me. Uh-oh, everybody lies, and the courtiers in Novgorod are no exception. One of them dared to speak up and tell me I'm too cynical. Really? Nope, 20% chance we lose cynical, but we didn't lose it. Ha, ha, ha. I was right, you fools. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> Once he changes his mind, he's like, yeah, fuck it, and he just leaves. Fifty-seven percent. Yeah, this will be over quickly. This is a relaxing little war here. No one's going to join him because he's a revolt. That's hilarious. I can't believe no one's joining him. I thought someone would join him. I didn't think it would be just me versus the, the revolt. But that's what it's been. Goodbye. <laughs> he's like, I'll attack there. Nope, I'll attack here. Nope, alright, I'll run away. Good boy. Get out of here. And now that we've fully replenished our retinue, we're starting to get some decent money coming in. Well, sort of decent. decent. Not the best money, but whatever. Just start. Seventy-four percent. Oh, my son wants to be kind. Definitely. Kind gives us uh, plus two diplomacy and vassal opinion. Nice. Oh, you want peace, do you? You surrender. Ah, thanks for the land. Thanks for the land. That looks good. In Russian green. That looks beautiful. All right, now we have to give away all this stuff. So let's take... Uh, hold on. Take our troops. Uh, maybe go attack Hungary next? Or this revolt? How's the war going here? Oh, wow. Look how many wars he's in now. He's at war with Bohemia. He's at war with second Aquitaining claim on France. Whoa, France is fighting Aquitaine. Wow, uh, Independence League. Oh yeah, he's just got, he's just mired in wars now. That's fantastic. Uh, let's go, we should go get this duchy. It's just a two county duchy, but it's still worth doing. And none of his allies can help him. But it's a holy war, so they'll help him anyway. But yeah, let's bring our troops over before we declare. Whoop. Over here, please. Thank you so much. And now we have to give away this land. Wonderful, wonderful. I love, I love large duchies. You declare a holy war, you get six counties out of it. It feels good. Feels good, man. Well, before we give these away... Ugh, let's give away the subholdings first. Bingo. And every time you do this, it creates a random person who is your culture and your religion. Someone that didn't exist before. Kind of neat. Because you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to hire a noble, and you don't have to hire a holy man. They just automatically come in. They don't cost you any money, any piety, or any prestige. They don't cost you anything. It's like magic. All right, uh, men who are not a ruler, who are not of a great house, who are adults, who are my religion and my culture, and sort by age. Oh, wow, look at this depressed 17-year-old kid. Nope, he's got a claim. Here we go. No claim. 
No nothing. Perfect. You get that county. Clean, that, clean him out of the list and find the next person. You have a claim. There we go. Yep, that's one of them. There we go. Okay. Nope, you're ambitious. Ambitious. There we go. Yeah, ambitious people need not apply, right? Not Torzok. Uh, Sharukin. There we go. Bingo. And we're done. And we're done. Yeah, fighting revolts like that, that's the best. Because <laughs> no one helps them. Even in a holy war, no one helps them. Wow, the Pachenegs are doing well. I think that's the largest I've ever seen the Pachenegs. All right, so let's get our troops over to the border with uh, Germany over here, or East Francia, as they like to be called. They have the German flag. Yeah, Kingdom of East Francia. Oh, he's primogenitor. Look at that. He's primo. Primo. Oh, yeah, that was one thing I noticed, is we actually do have the ability to change our... Oh, let's go on another grand hunt. We do have the ability to change our uh, inheritance laws, meaning... Every single one of our vassals has a positive opinion of us. Every single vassal has a positive opinion of us. That's amazing. That is just amazing. I love it. Uh, but we're not high crown authority, so we can't do primo. We could do elective. I'm just not sure if we should. Elective's nice if you have a lot of kids. Then you don't have to murder them all. You just pick that kid or even you can you can even pick a cousin or something whatever you can pick whoever you want so elective is nice if you just want to pick stuff oh city taxes we should raise city taxes yeah raise city taxes eat it let's see if that changes our income from 8.8 .8 ducats huh? you got some claims oh yeah this guy's got a claim on bohemia Oh, don't fuck it up. Don't you dare go after my wife. A white heart has been seen in the north of Novgorod. I am told it is the heart of ten. It is the biggest deer ever seen. Whoa, really? I will send out my best hunter. This is my kill. Ooh. 10% chance of wounded. 5% chance of getting maimed. We gotta try it. Nothing happened. Oh, shit. God, we suck at hunting. You really suck at hunting. Ah, harsh city tax has been approved. Uh, it still says 8.8, .8, but at the end of the month that might change. Ah, here we go. I'm out in the woods and I see a mighty stag. Uh, we're going to have to kill it. We didn't kill it. God damn, we suck. Yeah, it still says 8.8 .8 money. So, harsh city tax is not giving us anything. Really? Oh well. The hunt is over. Alright, well we tried, damn it. We fucking tried, you know. Uh, what about the Jarillo Festival? We gotta wait until... Gotta wait until May. Alright. Bohemian Conquest of Genoimo. Whoa, autosave. Auto say, don't crash. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, we're up to 11.8 ducats. So that did help. I just had to go to the end of the year before it would actually let me see the effects. Well, good to know. Good to know. Oh man, he's in so many wars. Poor bastard. Wait, Russia. Oh, <laughs> she's considered the Empress of Russia. 
That's her main title. So her main title is not Queen of Bohemia. Yeah. Oh no, there it's over. He must have white pieced. Oh fuck. But we just got to his border. Darn it. And the same guy is on the throne. Ah, oh, he white pieced. Shoot. Defending against the King of Scotland in the Scottish claim on Desmond. So Scotland has attacked France over here in Ireland, and he conquered it. So he's got ticking war score in his favor. How's Aquitaine doing on his claim on France? Oh, he gave up. He must have white pieced. Yeah, they white pieced. Oh, he's at war. What is this? The third Mesworded Holy War from Majorca. Interesting. Well, that was a missed opportunity with the HRE. What about we go after Hungary? You're allied to Denmark, but that's it. Uh, yeah, you've got some nice duchies for me, right? Duchies? Yeah, let's go for Nyatra. Nice duchy. Nice duchy. Good duchy. Don't fight me on this, Denmark. Yeah, look at that. Nice duchy. All right, troops to the Hungarian border. Castle of Beth Gibbelin. Oh yeah, how's the uh, how's the crusade doing? Is the crusade winning? Catholic crusade for Jerusalem. Yeah, they're winning. They're at forty-eight percent. Look at that! Wow. Let's see here. Primogenitor, of course. Ah. Won't even let me educate his kid. Little bastard. How many troops you got these days, bro? 5,000. Yeah. 6,000. Still, not that much to worry about. Alright, Hungary. Peace is not in my vocabulary. You know that, right? Let's do this. Oh, he's just going to stand there and let me attack him. I approve. Yes, just, just stand there. That's a good idea. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, right. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that is kind of a bummer. Okay, who's come in? Wallachia and Jaromir the Fat. Okay. A fat man comes at you. What do you do? Oh, he got out. Shit. Catch him? Oh, it says we're going to arrive on the same day he leaves. Catch him, please. Oh, we didn't catch him. Shit. I don't want your marriage. Go away. Okay, let's see what he does. I don't want your marriage. Go away. I think he's going to attack me in Hev's. Stop asking me. Go away, you fucking freak. Oh my god. Denmark. No. No. Oh, look. My son. 
Patience is a virtue, but sometimes it gets on my nerves. My son Vladimir never loses his temper, always waiting patiently for a chance to retaliate. Good. Yes. Patient. That's a very nice trait to have. And yeah, he is attacking me. Good. Let's party. Oh, you don't want to attack me anymore. Why not? Here we go. 19th of October. Alright, we'll wait until the 18th. Party time! What's up, dude? Oh, yeah. Killed 3,800 of them. Follow him. Kill that man. Send one army to his capital. And what are you up to, wife? Oh, you're still at war with the HRE. And she's losing now. God damn it, wife. The AI is not the best at being opportunistic with its wars. She declared an opportunistic war because the HRE was weak at the moment. Uh, but the timing wasn't, the timing was, you know, just not the best. Timing could have been better, I'll say that. <laughs> hmm. We're getting some war score from squishing this army a few times. But he will do a re-raise at some point. And when he does, we'll squish the re-raise. Alright, army was squished. Uh, let's go kill Wallachia's army. Actually, no. Let's uh, siege up the target duchy. We'll get, we'll get lots of war score for sieging the target duchy. You want me to help against the HRE, right? God damn it, woman. Oh no, she just wants me to help against some rebels. Alright, that's fine. Okay, split in half. And just seize the target provinces, that's fine. Who's this? Oh, nothing I can do about it. What is this? Uh, Bohemian Revolt Independence League. Oh, it's just Uppsala. Alright, he's trying to group up as many units as he can. He's only got about 2,000. It's not really a threat. But he's trying his damnedest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, she's brought Denmark in to fight the HRE. Oh, that's fantastic. Denmark and Bohemia are both fighting the HRE. <laughs> Love it. Oh, there's the revolt. They're sitting in Rana. Okay, no problem. Peasant revolt. Where is this? Oh, it's close by. Wait, no, it's not. Where's the goddamn peasant revolt? No, really. You're supposed to take me to where the revolt is. 
Uh, it's supposed to take you to where the revolt is, but it didn't. Oh, it's up here in Finland. Okay. Easy to find. Yeah, as your as your empire grows in this game, it would really help if the uh, clicky buttons would actually, you know, zoom you to where revolt is taking place. I guess I could just click on the hostile siege button. That works too. Uh, on the what do they call this? The outliner. On the outliner, it shows you uh, where you have hostile sieges. You just click on there, and it'll take you there. Ah, peace. You surrender! Yes. Ah, wonderful piety. Holy wars are best wars. All right, let's give away all these holdings. Four province duchy. That's not bad at all. It's better than a two province duchy. There are some two province duchies that really don't feel like holy wars make any sense, uh, but they exist. So got to deal with it. All right, let's find some nice Russians to give this stuff to. There we go. Not an heir, are you? No, no heir. Good. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. Next. Oh, he's slow. Now we'll go for non-slow kids. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. Next. Okay. Next. We're being really generous here. We're just giving away all this wonderful land that we just took. Alright, there we go. And again, we didn't get the actual duchy. No. We took all the land, we didn't get the actual duchy. Alright, let's get our troops. What do we want to do next? I guess we'll go fight these rebels. Uh, yeah, we'll kill our Weiss rebels, and then we'll kill our own rebels. We don't want our wife to lose any land, because obviously when, when we die, we're going to take over uh, her, her lands too. So we want her to be strong. Strong. Oh, he's in prison. Ah, huh, the HRE has imprisoned the King of Denmark. That's hilarious. Does that mean I can declare for your throne now? No, but if if he gets an internal revolt, someone tries to claim his throne, then we could try to claim it for our wife, I think. It's worth a shot anyway. God, so many duchies we could create. Take out the rebels. Goodbye, rebels. Successful crusade for Jerusalem. Oh, I have to see this. Show me. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, but it didn't go to Jerusalem. It went to the Knights Hospitaller. <laughs> yeah, the Knights Hospitaller took over Jerusalem. The Duchy of Jerusalem remains just a duchy. Well, that's awkward. Eh, still cool, though. Alright, the rebels are dead. That's our wife's rebels. Now we got to deal with our own rebels. Sell the prisoners. Sell the prisoners. Sell the prisoners. Lots of gold from prisoners. I love it. Oh, and we can get three more retinue. Let's do it. 
Nice. These Drazina are so good. Alright, you've got a claim on Wallachia. Go for it. My mother died. No. That's okay. Okay, new spy master. Hmm, Norse Sumanusko. I think we can demand his conversion. Here, let me see you real quick. There you go. Let's use you. And just scheme in the capital for now. We could steal tech, but just keep us safe for now. Please. Goodbye, mother. I wish you the best. And yeah, we got that duke to convert away from Norse. Fantastic. Oh, rebels are fighting rebels. That's hilarious. Train troops in the capital, please. Goodbye, Rebels. Oh, my son wants to be charitable. By all means. Look at these. Oh, Jesus. It's going to be an amazing diplomat. That's fantastic. Peasant revolt. Alright. Whatever. In Grodno. Okay. And you guys are not doing too hot, are ya? I think we can leave half of these guys here. We'll take 2,500 down to Grodno. Rebels are dead. 100%. You got it. Oh, hold on. Auto save while I'm trying to click buttons. There we go. Oh, the revolt just ended. Okay. Uh, he has a little bit of gold, but I think we're just going to execute. Oh, I can't execute him. Alright, fine. Banish him. Take his monies. You little jerk. Alright, good. So group up. Uh, split in half. And uh, let's go to the revolt. Now he's in prison. That would be really great if I could uh, claim his throne for my wife while he's in prison. But it's not happening. It's just not happening. He has no internal revolt, despite. Despite being captured, he has no internal revolts. Revolts. This is very odd. Okay, this guy has no allies. How many troops you got? 6,500. I can deal with that. I think our truce is up with this idiot. Yeah, it is. Chancellor died. Ah, oh, shit. I think I'll take the Duke. And just improve relations in Byzantium. That's the fourth Chancellor we've had get captured in Byzantium? I don't know what's happening, but Byzantium really is a, a tough place to do diplomacy. Because our fucking Chancellors keep getting captured there. You know what, though? We do need to end this episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. 
I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time for continued adventures in the land of Vladimir Putin's Russia. The wise. <laughs> I'll see you next time.